Hello there, fairies and fawns, satyrs and silkies, and fae folk of all sorts. Welcome to another episode of Grace Gets a Wonderful Care Package and Tries to Describe the Scents of Candles and is way, way off and does a terrible job, but really has a great time trying anyway. I got another care package from Sahaya and Company, which is I think my favorite candle company in the whole universe. Um, and beyond that, uh, Christina also makes the most amazing, well, I discovered this the last time I did an unboxing. She's created lip lipsticks, I don't know, lip stains, I think she calls them, and lip glosses, and they are so wonderful. Um, I'm actually wearing my favorite one. I wear basically every single day. Um, and I still haven't used up the one that she sent me, but when I do, I am definitely buying more because I love this color. It's called Wandering Poetess. And uh, I love it because it's the perfect shade for me, but also it has this almost like blue iridescent shimmer to it, so it feels really magical too. So yeah, um, I'm so excited to open up this care package. So I have pre-cut this so that you don't have to see me struggle with opening it up, but I haven't looked at anything inside. Hold on a sec. Say hello to Ella. She heard me talking and she had to come into the room. So hopefully she won't make too much chaos while I'm opening this up. Oh, before I open it up, I also wanted to mention that uh, Sahaya and Company is offering a coupon code for my viewers and those who follow me. Uh, so if you want to put in Grace 10, you can get 10% off your order. And oh my gosh, I just love her stuff so much. I highly, highly recommend it. And just know that you are buying from a small business and you're buying from a female owned business and it's just a great thing to support. All right, so first off we have a card. Ooh, there's a wax, I always love wax seals. Wax seals are always so pretty. Oh, and that's, is that washi tape? William Morris washi tape, wow, that's awesome. Bonus points for that. <laughs> All right, so let's open up this card. It's a beautiful card. Looks like it has a rider on a stag on the front. Oh, it's a very sweet personal message from Chris, the owner of Sahaya and Company. And then a nice snug fit in here. We have this little package. Oh, filled with goodies. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yay! <laughs> I know it's in here. Well, I don't know exactly what's in here, but I can tell it's some of her lip colors. I know she's been playing with a few new ones. Let's see, so I will be trying these on my arm like I did before and show you afterwards. This one is called Luna's Wing. Oh my goodness. Is there a green tint to this one? Like a Luna Moth? Ooh, I hope so. I love green. Let's see, this one, hmm, there's no label on it. But wow, I love the color. It's like a pink, and is that like a gold iridescent gloss? I'm excited to try that one. And then Lena She. Lena, Lena. I know it's She. Of course I know it's She, but I actually don't know how to, is it Lena She or Le, Lea, Lena She? I should totally know this. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say that I don't know exactly how it's pronounced. But I'm excited to see how these colors look. I'll have to share them with you at the end. And let's see. Oh, it looks like it 
it's taped up. I have to tear the top here. <laughs> I'm so terrible at guessing scents. It smells good. How's that for a strong description? Ooh, Boudica. I think that's how you say her name. The uh, Celtic warrior, warriors. It smells, smells, it smells earthy and grassy at the same time. Oh. Anyway, her candles always have this gorgeous gold or glitter at the top. It's not always gold. This gorgeous glitter at the top. And when you light it, the whole top just glows beautifully and it feels so magical. And there's the label on the front of the Celtic Warrior Queen. That is really cool. I'm still trying to figure out what the smell is. I'd love to try and guess it, but I'm, I'm kind of stumped on this one. I like the smell, but I don't know what it is. Let me see if there's, let's see. Is there a, let's see if it says what kinds there are. Okay, it says green amber, tarragon, bergamot, rough leather, and rising smoke. Okay, so I was right with the earthy. It's not grassy, but it does kind of have an earthy smell. I can totally see that. And does it say... Luna's wing. Oh, okay, that's why there was no label on it. One of them is a prototype of Autumn Leaves Lip Gloss says a rusty red packed with golden green shimmer and a spiced apple fragrance. Ooh, I can't wait to try that. All right, let me see. I think there are a couple more things in here. Oh, I love her candles so much. Veronica Franco. I don't know who that is. Looks like it's a historic figure. Veronica Franco. Ooh, I love the color of the inside. It's like a peach color, glitter. Oh, <laughs> wow. It's it's definitely, well, I say definitely and then I'll be completely wrong, but it, it I think it's a peach smell. I would be, or apricot. I would be very surprised if that wasn't supposed to be a peach smell, but it has something else in it as well. I'm gonna cheat again. Apples, peach blossoms, aha. <laughs> Golden lilies, grapefruit, amaranth, and jasmine. Oh, wow, okay, so she was the poet and honest courtesan of Venice who def defended herself from charges of witchcraft. Okay, clearly she is a badass and I need to find out more about her. That's amazing. Oh, it's, I've never smelled anything like that. It's like perfumey but not too perfumey and it's I don't know I don't usually like floral scents that much but I really like this one it's a perfect summer scent oh I love it that might be my first one I burn <laughs> all right we got one more in here the dawn will come that's a beautiful cover. Look at the label, it has a hand reaching up to a sword with the sun in the background. I love the message of that too. It's also got kind of a darker orange glitter interior. And I'm not even gonna guess on this one because it I was I was gonna say it also smells like peach but no I think I think what I'm smelling is grapefruit so let me see if I'm right an uplifting hopeful blend of grapefruit use is it yuzu and gentle gentle elf fruit garden mint straight from the chantry garden uh and the description says bear your blade and raise it high stand your ground the dawn will come the night is long and the path is dark. Look to, the, look to the sky for one day soon, the dawn will come. How beautiful. This is a message that I definitely read, need right now. So thank you, Chris. Oh, yeah, 
I can definitely smell the grapefruit. What I love about this candle and this candle is that they both have very strong primary scents, but then as you continue smelling, and I have a feeling as you continue burning, the other scents really subtly hit you. I love that about them. I love things that, that almost tell a, I mean, not to sound presumptuous, but like a, a scent story. Like there's more than just one scent to it. And this one, oh, the, the Boudica or Bodicea, might be Bodicea. Oh, I can't remember how to say her name. Anyway, this one just has such an earthy smell to it, but sweet at the same time. I love it so much. So, wow, I am completely spoiled. And I highly, highly, highly recommend that you try Chris's company, Sahai and Company's candles. Uh, remember that you get a discount code, GRACE10, if you try that. Um, I have yet to find a single product that I have not loved that she's created. She puts a lot of care and a lot of thought and a lot of work into the creation of her products. So I cannot recommend her highly enough. So I'm gonna try these on my arm and then I'll, I'll see what you think. Uh, leave me comments in the, in the comment box and let me know what you think of this unboxing, what you think of the candles, what you think of the lipsticks and lip colors. Which one do you think sounded best to you? Um, I'm gonna say, hmm, my favorite candle is, oh, it's probably The Dawn Will Come. But that's the thing about her candles. There was one that I got in my last box that I liked the smell of it when I was smelling it and then I actually burned it. And when I burned it, it became my favorite candle that I've ever gotten from her company. And I'll write, I don't remember the exact name of it, but I'll write it in the description box. But it's amazing how burning her candles really brings out all the, all the different smells and everything. So like for all I know, that one's my favorite to smell it, but maybe I'll love another one more when I actually burn them. But oh my gosh, I love her stuff. Let me see, as far as the lip colors, oh, I'm really curious to try this Luna's wing to see if it's got some green in it. All right, let me try out these lip colors that Chris sent me. First of all, I'm gonna try the prototype of Autumn Leaves Lip Gloss. I'm actually really excited about this one because in the last box she sent me, I love the lip glosses that she sent and they're great to add a little bit of iridescent color, but I don't think I had any that were like a pink color. So I'm looking forward to trying this over my lip colors. I love to also layer her actual uh, lip, oh, they're called, I guess they're lip shim lip shimmers and lip colors. Anyway, I love to try her um, more uh, opaque colors layered over each other as well. Let's see, this is the Luna's wing. And I don't know if it's gonna show up for you, but it looks like, yeah, it just adds a little touch of green. Oh, I love that, can you see it? It's just a little bit of an iridescent green with uh, a little bit of glitter to it. So that's the Luna's wing. I love that it's subtle. I'm excited to see how it'll look like, how what it will look like on bare lips, and I'm also excited to see what it will look like layered over other colors. And this one is Lilina She. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try that color. Oh, I have a feeling I'm gonna love that color. So those are the three colors that she sent me. I have so much fun layering and playing with these different colors, and I have a feeling you will too if you try them out. Wow, I am completely thrilled and overwhelmed with all of this magical goodness that Sahai and company sent me. Thank you so much, and I hope you get a chance to try out her products too. Like I said, she's a small business and she's so amazing. She's, I can't speak highly enough about her. So I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time.